Are you guys having a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, yes, my name is Helke, uh, also known as the guy who works with these two guys here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it, literally, this is all true. I, I told him for weeks, like, yeah, I got a spot at the Monkey Barrel. You guys should come down, come check it out. He's like, oh, well, it's comedy. They're going to pick on us now. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no guys. So, yeah. It'll be fun next few weeks. Uh, no, it, it's great to be here. Um, my name, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm from Iceland. Uh, I just moved to uh, Edinburgh about two months ago. Mm -hmm. Living here, I really enjoy it. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me though uh, since I moved here, like, oh, why did you, why did you move to Edinburgh? Why, why did you come here? And I was like, well, I, I, to be honest, I, I came here because you know I, I wanted to try to become a comedian. Uh, a decision that went very, very well with my family. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, Dad, I'm going to move to UK and become a comedian. I'm going to make it in comedy. Like, Helgi, you didn't even make it here. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how. It's Iceland. There's like 12 of us. <laughs> In all honesty, I, I did move to the uh, to Edinburgh because uh, of a girl. Uh, oh. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> no, no, I mean, she was definitely worth the move. Uh, I, I did move here for her, and uh, I mean, she's, she's a very lovely, nice girl. Uh, I mean, she is English, though. Um, <laughs> but, uh, it's okay though, because you know I'm Icelandic, and well, if there's one thing Iceland is good at, it's fucking the English. <laughs> She hates it when I do that during sex. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. She's English. She doesn't have sex. <laughs> no. No, but, but the football thing is really interesting, though, because I, I was reading an article that said that apparently England fans are still outraged after having lost to Iceland uh, at the Euro this summer. I was like, really? How petty are you? <laughs> I mean, granted, this is a country that went to war with Iceland in the 70s over cod. I mean, they are very petty. But it's like, we can't have that one thing. Come on, it's England. Like, your country is synonymous with football. Our last two encounters with Europe involved a banking crisis and a fucking volcano. <laughs> what are you complaining about? It's kind of like when I'm down in England and I hear people complaining about immigration. I just thought, so, bro, I say, she has your problem is, so I say my Gavin speaking Muslim. <laughs> want to move over here. I, I mean, I've seen people move up to Iceland in the middle of the summer like, oh my god, this is amazing. It's like, it's really beautiful and, and it's nice and warm. Soon as winter hits, you're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> How do you people live like this? I just wanted to see northern lights and shit. There's a, you know, snowstorm casually flips over their 2001 Honda. <laughs> Uh, no, but it is nice to live in Edinburgh, um, uh, because the thing is, my girlfriend, she lived here for four years, so she's always really excited to, like, show me everything and take me all these places. She's like, come on, baby, we have to, we have to get, I want to show you this place, come on, let's, let's get, come on, let's get, come on, it's, come on, it's, it's bonfire night. <laughs> like, baby, we live in Leith. I assure you, you don't need to wait until the 5th of November to see shit on fire. <laughs> just, just pop your head out the window. I'm sure there's a couple of Neds fucking setting our bus stop in flames. <laughs> Leith Leith is an interesting. Anybody live in Leith here? Yeah. Yeah. It's an interesting area because when I moved, because I, I grew up, like, I'm Icelandic, but I grew up in Los Angeles, like when I was a kid, and pe people always told me like, ah, you know, it's rough. I Leith, I fucking Raj concert. Okay, so, yeah. How? The entire area smells of nothing but weed. I don't think anybody has the motivation to attack it. You get like stoners walking around Leaf Walk, like, hey, Paul, use a boot that gets stabbed. Soon as I finish my chippy. <laughs> Uh, no, but, but it, you know, honestly, it really is nice to be back in Europe, like in the West, because uh, I used to live in China. I was living in China for four years, and, and Beijing. Uh, it, it, you know, obviously doing comedy in a country like China is a little bit than doing comedy in, in, say, you know, the UK. Like here, if I'm not funny on stage, people just don't laugh. 
China, uh, you, you just get arrested. <laughs> it's really cool. There's such, it's such a cool atmosphere in China because you, you get like expats from all over the world doing comedy. Like I saw like Russians doing stand-up comedy. I didn't even think that was a thing. <laughs> Seriously, in all honesty, if you'd asked me four years ago what Russian stand-up comedy looked like, I'd be like, well, what do they talk about? It's like, do you not hate it when mother is making borscht soup and then bear come and kill her? <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Okay, so uh, we'll do it. <laughs> oh God. What am I doing? Okay, we'll do it in order we saw them. Okay, so what we need to clap on the you guys need to make the most noise you want for the person to win this little set on the show. We got that? Yeah? Yeah. All right. Well, first up, we saw Mr. Jake Park! Nasty Jake, I think you can sit down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, look at look at Helgi there. You're pretty much gonna have a wank in a minute. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't need the other names in Iceland. We can just call it. <laughs> okay, next up we do have. Well, You might also have to unfortunately vacate the stage. Um, and, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have Kimmy Lante! <laughs> Let's see how this pans out. Okay, uh, ladies and gents, lastly, we have Mr. John Agassiz! Oh! <laughs> 